Hello, this is a Woolamai pine and this magnificent specimen is at the Burnley campus of the University of Melbourne. In the wild they can grow to about 40 metres and so wide, but 20 years ago we really didn't even know they existed. They are one of the world's rarest plants. We only knew them as fossil records and we were able to calculate these were around when dinosaurs were around. In fact, they may have even been dinosaur snacks. So not only are they the rarest plant, they are one of the world's oldest plants. The tree was first found by a chap called David Noble. He was a Woolamai National Parks and Wildlife Officer. He noticed one in a gorge at the Blue Mountains and he took a sample for identification. And the rest is history, or rather natural history. What a find. It was named Woolamai nobilis. So these living fossils have become the interests of many scientists and conservationists. And we look at some of the research surrounding the Woolamai pine. Well, what we know about the Wollamai pine is that they're limited to a few rainforest gullies in the Blue Mountains north of Sydney. The population is incredibly small, less than 100 mature individuals, which is just amazing that it's held on and survived there for so long. Previous research has shown that it can survive temperatures up to about 47 degrees and down to about minus 7 degrees. What we don't know about the Wollamai pine is that how it responds to fire. Its habitat is rainforest and rainforest is historically thought of being sensitive to fire and also all the management documents list fire as being a threat to the Wollamai pine. But on the other hand, there are several mature trees in the wild which have fire scars and they're still alive. So it suggests that they can in fact survive fire. So what I wanted to do was find out how Wollamai pine would respond to fire. We got 30 of each of Wollamai pine and two other rainforest species, which was the lily pilly and the sassafras. We surrounded their bases with sand, just like um, it would be with soil in the wild. And we, then we surrounded them by hay and we lit that hay on fire and we measured the temperatures at each of the stems. So we knew exactly what each plant was exposed to. After they were burnt, we brought them back to the nursery where we watered them and we just had to wait and wait. And at first I thought I had killed them all because nothing happened, but then we saw a couple of buds forming on the sprouts and we knew that we were going to get re-sprouting. The results were that the majority of plants re-sprouted. This was exciting because it meant that even plants that were exposed to high intensity fires were able to re-sprout. The majority of re-sprouting occurred from low on the stem where the stems were protected by the soil so that stopped temperatures from getting really high. Interestingly, on a couple of Wollamai pines, sprouting occurred from higher on the stem suggesting that those buds could survive low intensity fires. These results are significant because it's showing sprouting in seedlings which were thought to be particularly vulnerable to fire, not only morphologically but also because they're so small and they just sit in the understory and um, surface fires could easily completely consume them. So yeah, we're very excited about um, these results. University research helps us understand more about this endangered species. You can now buy the Willamite pine in nurseries and in some ways, it's become Australia's Christmas tree.